Next, let us look at this irrotational vector point function. So, what do you mean by irrotational vector point function? A function which is not rotating at all, right? A vector point function. which is not rotating at all. So that means we can say if f is the corresponding vector point function then its curl is equal to 0. So, if this is the quantity, we call this to be a rotational vector, right? Okay. So, let me give you some examples here. So, suppose we have this question, find the constants A, B, C. So, we have this question, find the constants a comma b and c such that the vector f which is defined by x plus 2y plus a z i cap plus the vector b x minus 3y minus z j cap plus 4x plus c y plus 2z k cap this vector is irrotational. So here, in order to show that, in order to compute this ABC quantities, we are to take the curl for this particular vector. So for the solution of this question, what we will do as the vector F is given to be irrotational, therefore its curl del cross f vector that is equal to 0. So, let us compute its curl. So, when you compute del cross f vector that is equal to i cap, j cap, k cap, del by del x, del by del y, del by del z and this vector x plus 2y plus a z, then bx minus 3y minus z and then 4x plus c y plus 2z, right? So, this is your curl and then you will calculate its determinant, right? So, it would be i cap, then this vector into this vector. So, basically the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So, it would be c, right? Yes, c and then the partial derivative with respect to z of this function. So, this is e going to be equal to minus 1. So, this is for i cap. For j cap, we have this, uh, the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So, that would be equal to 4 and then minus the partial derivative of this function with respect to z, right? So, it would be equal to plus a. And for k cap, we have the partial derivative with respect to x of this function. So, that is equal to b and minus the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So, it is going to be equal to 2, right? So, this is the cross of uh, the vector f. Now, this is equal to 0 vector. Here, it is not exactly 0. It is equal to 0 vector y because the product here is a vector quantity because whenever you take curl of a vector it results into a vector quantity okay so when you solve this you will have c plus 1 i cap plus j a minus 4 plus k b minus 2 now this is equal to 0 vector is 0 i cap plus 0 j cap plus 0 k cap now you could equate the components of i j and k cap vectors. So, this implies c plus 1 becomes equal to 0. So, that means this is equal to this quantity, right? So, we have this and then this thing becomes equal to the 0 here. So, we have a 
minus 4 is equal to 0. So that means you obtain a is equal to 4, c is equal to minus 1. And for the third quantity, we have b minus 2 equal to 0 here, right? So accordingly, we have b minus 2 is equal to 0. So b becomes, uh, b comes out to be equal to 2. So th th this, these are the values of the constants that were required. Okay, so let us see next question. The next question is question number two. If vector f is equal to gradient of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz, then you are to calculate curl of vector f. So here we are given vector f is nothing but the gradient of this scalar point function. So first of all, you are to compute what is the gradient of the scalar point function, right? So let, let us compute the gradient of the scalar point function. So vector f, that would be del by del x i cap plus del by del y j cap plus del by del z k cap of this vector point uh, of the scalar point function x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z. So when you take the partial derivative with respect to x, you obtain 3 x square minus 3 y z into i cap. For uh, when you take its partial derivative with respect to y, it comes out to be this quantity. And when you take it with respect to z, you obtain this quantity, right? So this is your vector f. Now you are to take the curl of this vector. So when you perform the curl of this vector, so that means that would be i cap, j cap, k cap, del by del x, del by del y, del by del z of 3x square minus 3yz, 3y square minus 3xz and then 3z square minus 3xy. So now you are to solve this quantity. So it would be i cap into, so this into this, so that would be equal to minus 3x and then minus of this and this, so that would be minus 3x, right? minus j cap for j cap it would be this and this so that would be minus 3y and then minus of this and this so that would be minus 3y plus k cap so that would be equal to this and this so that would be equal to minus 3z minus of this quantity and this quantity for k cap right it would be minus 3z again so when you see this becomes 0 i cap plus 0 j cap plus 0 k cap. So basically this is the vector 0. So the quantity, the curl of vector f that comes out to be 0. And moreover, it is also very interesting to note here that whenever this is the property that whenever you are taking the curl of the gradient of some scalar point function phi, this is always equal to 0. In this case also, we computed the curl for the vector f. And what was our vector f? Our vector f was the gradient of some function x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. So this without computation also, this has to be equal to 0, right? So this is it.